The Vickers Shipbuilding Engineering Company. The Legacy of Barrow. The, the town of Barrow and Furness is located on the Furness Peninsula in Cumbria. Uh, and, uh, and in the 2011 census, uh, was uh, was reported to have to have a population of 56,745. The, uh, the town is most notable for its ship for its shipyard, currently known as BAE System Submarines, and today is home to the Devonshire Dock Hall, the largest building in Cumbria. Uh, at this stage, they pump out submarines around every year or two. But back in time, they built a vast array of ships. This shipyard was known as the Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Company. And back in time, they built some of the, some of the most famous vessels in the world. Some of these included the, the Peninsula and Oriental Steamship Companies, Chuzan, Strathnava, Strathaird, and and many other vessels, including some for the Isle of Man Steam Packer Company. In this mini documentary series, or two part documentary series, we will explore the legacy of the Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Company in Barrow. And we will also include a video on the list of ships that they built. The company was originally founded by James Ramsden in 1871 as the Iron Shipbuilding Company of Barrow, but uh, the name was soon changed to the Barrow Shipbuilding Company. Uh, in 1897, the then, the then Vickers and Sons, or the Vickers Corporation, uh, bought, bought uh, Bought the Barrow Shipbuilding Company and its subs subs subsidiary, subsidiary, sorry, the uh, Maxim Nordenfelt and Guns and Ammunition Company, and merged the two, creating the Vickers Sons and Maxim Limited. In 1911, the company was renamed Vickers Limited, and in 1927 was renamed again to. Uh, to now become Vickers Armstrong Limited uh, uh, after, they, after they merged with uh, with the yard of Armstrong Whitworth Armstrong Whitworth on the River Tyne in Newcastle. This then divided both yards. Uh, the, the shipyard at Barrow became the Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Company. And the, yard, and the shipyard in Newcastle became the Vickers Armstrong Shipbuilding Company. In 1955, uh, both, uh, both yards were, were, were nationalised under the Aircraft and Shipbuilding Act uh, and, uh, and were both consumed into the British Shipbuilders Corporation. 32 years later, the, uh, the company was contracted with building the HMS Triumph, a, 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 a Trafalgar class nuclear submarine, and in a what's the word? And in a and in an unfortunate chain of events, they accidentally welded the stern section of, of, of the submarine in an upside down position. And I'm pretty sure that someone in management got quite a big smacking for that. In 1994, the, uh, the, uh, the General Electric Company bought, um, uh, bought, uh, bought the Vickers Shipbuilding and Engineering Company, or as I'm going to call it from now on, v VSEL, and renamed it Marconi Marine, as I'm also now going to call it. Oh no, I'm not! Because in 2003 the company was passed on to BAE Systems Marine and was subsequently renamed BAE Systems Submarines. But though the story is a little bit shorter than you'd expect, there is a companion episode coming which will list many of, uh, 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 of the notable ships built by Vickers at Barrow. Uh, 
I highly recommend visiting the Dock Museum at Baron Furness as they have a lot of extra information about, about the yard. I'll also be making a, a, a revised edition of this documentary series in a few months which will hopefully include a lot more detail. Thank you so much for watching and look out for the next part of this series and yeah, thank you.